I, I don't think it's a big surprise that 2023 has broken the global temperature record because it has been running, the global temperature has been running very high even the last few years during La Nina situations. We had three La Nina years in a row and we almost broke the record during a La Nina. So I think most of us were expecting when the next big El Nino came along that it would be almost it would be almost certain that we would break a new global temperature record because we know that when an El Nino does come along, there's a lot of heat transferred from the ocean to the atmosphere, and that tends to be the years that we break temperature records for the globe. So, yeah, but it's it was broken by not a little, but a lot. And so I think the magnitude of some of the records that have been broken this year have been somewhat as of a surprise, just that margin of difference from the record before, um, things like the Antarctic ice extent. Um, that was a big surprise, I think, to see that reach um, such low levels. That was not really anticipated. Um, so yeah, there were a lot of a lot of records broken this year that I think um, in 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 breaking the record itself was not a surprise, but the amount by which it was broken was a surprise.